the young men out here realize just how precious and priceless life is. Just in a flick, your life can be literally over and it affects your whole family. My son, he was murdered 10 years ago. He was shot seven times in the Hill District. The type of pain you experience when your child is murdered, you can be in a room with a thousand people and not one of them can help you. No one can reach you in that place but God. In spite of me raising my son from a good home, providing everything for him, he still made some wrong choices and some of those decisions cost him his life. When they called me to come and identify his body at Presbyterian Hospital in Oakland, it was, it was like one minute your life was normal and then the next minute it was just totally, it's almost like taking a glass and just dropping it in the floor and it just shatters where your whole life is now in a million pieces and you don't have a clue how to begin to pull it all back together. It was um, hard for me to identify his body because he was in a blue body bag. He was naked, the body bag was halfway zipped and I remember rubbing his head thinking, oh my God, he's, he's still warm, he's still warm. Thinking that it was hope, but he was gone. The turning point for me from becoming bitter to better was a conscious decision because God told me, he said, well, this can either make you better or bitter and I chose to get better because I was literally stuck there paralyzed in fear. I could not see how God could use me at all. Divine Intervention Ministries is a ministry that God placed in my spirit two weeks after my son was murdered. He said it was a Christian-based prison ministry. And when he gave me the vision, I was sleeping and I, one of those days I didn't want to wake up, didn't want to feel. I kept hearing in my spirit, Divine Intervention, Divine Intervention. I'm like, okay, I'll remember, I'll write it down. He said, no, no, write it down now. The ultimate goal of Divine Intervention Ministries is to restore the lives of incarcerated adults and at-risk youth, people who have made mistakes in their life and need a second chance to help them find their way back on the right track for life. And to reach the youth while they're young, they made some mistakes, to let them know that first of all, with God, all things are possible and that your past doesn't have to determine your future. But when I look back over the vision now, I just see how through these 10 years, it's all unfolding and how it will be a one-stop shop where a young man could come to one place and get all the services that he need, opposed to going to the east side, the west side, the north side, just one place. Because I'm gonna tell you, if you find a young man that's ready to come away from that lifestyle, you better have something for him, something that's real. The success rate for Divine Intervention Ministries has been phenomenal. From the letters that we get from inmates all across the country and the women, when we go in and minister to them, how God, not Deborah, does something in the midst of all of that. Right now we're doing a play all across the city of Pittsburgh and it's called, If You Must Shoot, Shoot Me, But Leave My Brother Alone. It's a play that was written by a young man by the name of Earl Baldwin, who's working with our program now. And it is just phenomenal the way God is using, again, young men who have did 22 years in prison. While in prison, God got a hold of them, they got saved, transformed their lives. Now they're out, married, working, successful business owners, and giving back to the community. Cornerstone Television has always been a blessing to my family. And for them to care enough to tell the stories, basically you are a voice for those that don't have a voice. And I'm so grateful for you caring enough to come to let me tell my story because sometimes it would never get told. So I, I commend Cornerstone from the bottom of my heart 
because it's changing lives all over the world.